Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is 7 o'clock here on the East Coast, and by this time tomorrow, we will know if the Dallas Cowboys have won the NFC East. It is crazy to even think that we actually have the chance to be the number two seed when literally... About six weeks ago, I think the Eagles were 10 and 1 and had a stranglehold basically on the uh, NFC home field advantage, and they have literally melted down. And I have to say, Philly 500, I'm disappointed in you, bro. I, I'm, I am disappointed in you, man. You know, I've been accused of being a bully. Um, I have been accused of being a bully. And the funny thing is, is the fact that you aren't man enough to do your own dirty work, the fact that this week you have run and hit. Now, I have to give you credit. I have to give you credit because you did text message me and say, congratulations on winning the NFCs. And I said, we ain't won it yet, bro. I don't know if that was trying to hex me into saying that, yeah, we got this and you're at. No, I'm, I'm no, we ain't won shit yet. We ain't won it till we won it, okay? And we all know how it was last year where we went to the commanders who were ass-ass, and some rookie out there by the name of Sam Howe ended up having a game and ended up beating the Dallas Cowboys. The players came in there motivated. They played for Ron Rivera, and the Eagles won their game and ended up winning the division and making it all the way to the Super Bowl where they choked. I'm sorry. They lost. Sorry. Excuse me. Here's the thing that's that's amazing to me is that you literally need somebody to help gang up on me when all of you and your merry band of cockroaches have been all over me about so many things. And I've got receipts. I've got all the text messages, Philly. The amount of time that you spent trolling, I mean, you know, it, it's been, it seems like it's been years ago, but it was just this year where we saw in the offseason, Micah Parsons wearing a Philly 76er jersey, and he went to the game rooting for his hometown team, and you took this whole thing that, you know, he doesn't want to play in Dallas, and, you know, he wants to be an Eagle, and how everybody wants to be an Eagle. Remember when DeAndre Hopkins, who when he first was rumored to be, you know, on the trade block, was actually working out with Des Bryant in Dallas. And, you know, basically saying, what's up, Dallas? What's up, Dallas? And then, you know, a few weeks later, we heard him doing a, a whole interview where he was talking about, you know, the great young quarterbacks and stuff and basically didn't mention Dak. And it was thought of, yeah, this guy, he doesn't want to play for the Cowboys because your quarterback sucks. And all of the times that you have trolled me and told me about how good Hassan Reddick is better than, than Micah Parsons, that your offensive line is generational, that Jalen Hurts can do circles, you know, kind of like those pirouettes that Philly, that, that Cop Pizzle didn't do around Dak Prescott and that Dak Prescott was just old, you know, he hadn't done anything in all of his time here and he sucks and trolled me. And now you're, and I stood here. I stood here toe for toe, responding to all of this stuff. Because I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm just gonna. I want to bring back something that's not a fond memory, because there were so many different things. You know, I, I think about Dak Trashcott. I think about you know the Dak Prescott, the turnover machine, the uh, Dak um, uh, the, 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 always a bridesmaid, never a bride. All of the things that you guys have said about Jerry Jones being eight thousand years old, and now after one week, you're sitting there whining like a little biatch. Come on, Philly. But I, I just want to give you a taste. Of some of the stuff. I mean, Philly has gone through and called us a culture of losers that just sit here and eat. And you literally put up videos of us just sitting around eating. You literally started, you used to, you don't anymore. You used to put up all of the brother screwed us. The brother screwed us at our lowest moment here. And now you, you, you're playing the poor victim. Poor, what woe is me? Oh, I, I need help. Because Mark is such a bully. Let's look at this for a second here. Actually, I think I may have screwed the pooch on this because I think I changed it up for the barbecue cam. 
let me change the camera here real quick because the, the barbecue cam ain't going. It, it's, it's not going right now. That was the smoker cam. Let me get the right input. Nope. Nope. I've got so many different. Nope. You can put almost any input in here. Nope. Desktop 20. Desktop 21. There we go. All right, we got it. Desktop 21. Let's go to the tape. You, you, you understand, this is broke-ass media, y'all. This is broke-ass media, and this is how we roll. But let's, let's listen to Philly. The epic meltdowns have begun. Cowboy fans are losing their mind after DeAndre Hopkins said, nah, not Dak. And one Eagle player is getting ready to make his last stand. I think let's, let's, let's go down a little further here. Network. All teams can now. Okay, that was the new rules. Hold on. And touchbacks. Uh, he, 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 I absolutely hate that rule. Then eventually they're going to phase out the. Okay, hold on. Andre Hopkins thing hit them deep. All right, let's go. Now, the other things that I want to talk about. Dallas Cowboy fans are having a hard time. They are having a are very hard time. This DeAndre Hopkins thing hit them deep. It hit them really deep, okay? Because they're not used to players not wanting to come to Dallas. You know, they're not used to the idea that team that players would actually want to play on other teams other than Dallas. See, they're stuck in the 90s. They're stuck in their glory days. Those days are gone. The Dallas Cowboys are not the same Dallas Cowboys, the America team, they used to be. And Cowboys fans can't accept it. Just take this look Here you go. at this video from Mark Holmes and this, last night. I'm going to admit, did a live stream and I went was off. pissed off. He went I was pissed off. I, I, I did go off. I, I did. I, I did. only put this, these many clips. I didn't have a chance to go through the whole thing. Now, just a warning for those that you know may have warning. kids around. Yes. I, 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 I lost it, but, but it, it reminded me of something. This part. It is not me doing it. It is Mark, but he is going to go off. So I want to make sure I give you guys plenty of time to mute this part or fast forward it, whatever you have to do. But this is is epic. Mark Holmes melts down. So if you need to tune out, do it now. Pause. Ready? All right. <laughs> okay, Watch yeah. this. I, I went off. Uh, Dak Prescott. I like Dak Prescott. Any of these young rookie court? <laughs> cool. Then keep your ass away from us. Do you you know what? I want to say though, before we go a little further, look at how the red brick house look. That's the red brick house. That's upstairs where the studio is. Look at the windows. Look at how the plaster looked in that place. Damn, it looked like I was in a bombed out building right there. Good God, and my hair was short. In fact, I look younger there. But go on. I don't want to pay you that twenty nine million dollars anyway. Kiss my ass, okay? Find your cash someplace else. How about that? I, I, I really don't know how to take this. And, of course, you know, want to say Jalen Hurts because they got a great team. I'll be honest with you. If you don't want to go to a trash-ass team, and I, I guess in a way, he's trying to say that the Cowboys are trash. First of all, Dak Prescott kicks ass in the division. What are you doing to get better? What are you doing to get better? I was man. Dumbest shit. Don't waste my goddamn time Damn. up in here Knock with dumb shit. Them. Seriously, if that's all the hell you got, stay the fuck out. Now, of here. now I want you Come to understand. On, he took this out it of context. Makes me lose my damn religion. Stupid ass. Don't waste my time with stupid ass. Some shit. troll pissed me off. If, if you're let me let me just say, not even the Eagle fans too. I got to say, even to Cowboy fans that are like just trade Dak, trade Dak. I'm sick of. Well, you, you know what you need to do? You just need to find a new team. You do. They're not trading Dak. They're not. And thank God They're they not didn't. Trading Dak. They're not cutting Dak. They're going to extend Dak. He's going to be here as long as his body holds up. So if you don't like him, if you don't like him, move on. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Not a damn thing. So get over it. 
And instead of being freaking Mr. Negativity, okay, instead of just being, I just hate that. Listen, how about we try something different? I'm sick and tired of all these people out there that just live to freaking hate. It drives me crazy. That's what's wrong with all of us right now. How about we try being a little kinder to each other? Day. And the last thing I feel like dealing with is some goddamn immature, stupid ass, badass kids that need to be whooped. That's right, I'm lit. I'm tired. Shit. And I got power tools here too. Would anybody else like to get a foot in the ass tonight? Crazy, right? Totally crazy cowboy fans. They're having they're having a tough off season. Tough draft, tough free agent. Truth in advertising, you notice that those were clips after clips after clips. It wasn't me going after the Cowboys about not signing DeAndre Hopkins. It was actually me getting fed up with all of the idiots out there that keep saying, Dak's not the one. Dak sucks. Dak is a turnover machine. We need to just trade Dak. People that were like, oh, we got Trey Lance. Let's plug him in there. Oh, Cooper Rush. We need to go ahead and start Cooper Rush. Well, guess what? All of you freaking idiots, all of you dumbasses were wrong. You were wrong. And that, of course, is the narrative. There's nothing that the Eagles would love better than for us to trade Dak and get him out of the division because Dak Prescott kicks their teeth in on a regular. On a regular. The Giants haven't beat him since 2016. The Commanders, once in a while, slip up and get a victory here and there. And even with the Eagles, I think he's, who have the best record against him, I think he's 9-5 and five or 9-4. and four. So, yeah, they want you to trade Dak. They want to say Dak suck. They, Dak, you know, when, when somebody kicks your ass, oh, man, you suck. Yeah, because we're beating the crap out of you. So, yes, I'm enjoying. I am totally enjoying seeing you Eagle fans suffer after hearing fly, Eagles, fly. All oh, I'm sick and tired of hearing that shit. I've heard it so much that i am enjoying this past week and sorry philly if you can you know you can dish it out but apparently you can't take it now why don't you go ahead and pull up your big boy pants and be a grown-ass man and if you got something to say to me do it yourself don't send somebody else into the battlefield for you you jump in there don't be a bitch philly don't be that guy. <sighs> I'm Mark Holmes, and I got more work to do. And I hope you guys are having a great day, and I look forward to seeing you guys at my tailgate tomorrow. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no. Go. They suck. I've been telling you all season, They've Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Kayla Carter, Slight? They shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Kayla Carter, Slight? They shit on you. Kill them. Oh my goodness! Did he 